All right, Shalom. First off, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Reka, Kwadash. I want to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone and a Shalom and a salute to the Yalat. This is Ashan coming at you with another video. And uh, I just had to get the spirit got on me to uh, do this video because it's a lot of Jake out here that's waking up, right? And it's more to the truth than just knowing you're an Israelite, all right? I want to just to make that uh, known, you know, to the, you know, to new, new, um, you know, brothers and sisters that just might have woken up. But despite that, I mean, well, yeah, uh, other than that, yes, it is a lot of Jake that's waking up and it's going to be a great awakening. And I believe it's happening now, you know, uh, as I speak, because the Heavenly Father is is uh, is, is is about to bring this place uh, to an end. You know, we have we in these last days and, and Jake and uh what happened? Why I got Nick Cannon on um, on the screen is because this guy, he uh, I did a video about uh, him and Professor Griff, um, and they got into it. They got into a little history, and YouTube took my video down as soon as I did the video. And the question you have to ask yourself is, well, it has to be the truth because why? What? What are they trying to hide? You know? And I'm gonna tell you what they're trying to hide. They're trying to hide. The, the, the simple fact that the so-called blacks and Hispanics and Native Americans are the true Hebrew Israelites that the Bible speaks of. And that uh, the, the so-called white people that rule this world are the Edomites, you know. And uh, this guy, Nick Hannon, he even mentioned the Rothschilds and, and, and so on, you know, and he was saying how, how they got power and all that. So he went in and he has a career and he works for You ain't going to get in Hollywood. Uh, all them top executives and they all so they all Jewish, Jewish, you know. They are all Edomites, and and um and um the tribe of Amalek, you know. And they fired. They uh he lost one of his uh the wild and out thing, you know. And um, I just wanted to get into the scriptures because just the other day another uh. Jake had woken up, you know, and he was saying it, you know, and it might not uh, just uh, food for thought for the for those, uh, you know, because we do have uh, secret disciples and things. But when these guys get like that, when they already put the truth out there and Esau already know, you know, the truth, then, hey, if you know this, the truth, you might as well submit to the heavenly father because, hey, Nick Cannon, you done made you done made your money. You'd have made enough money to live off of. What I would do if I was, if I, just, just, just my opinion, if I was them and I woke up to the truth, what I would do is I would say, the hell with, the hell with these jobs and shit. Esau, I would stack a little, you already got money. So you, you don't, just don't live beyond your means. And, 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 you know, now you might be too kind of too popular, you know, but you would have to, you know, talk to the apostles and elders. You know, to make a move, whether, you know, to uh, help you out with your situation as far as like what you should do and all that. You know, talk to the wiser men, you know, because uh, this place, this system of things, thing is failing. You know, you can if you can't see this place going down, then I don't know what to tell you. If you can't see that America is falling, I don't know what to tell you, you know. But Jake losing his career left and right because he's waking up. And these guys ain't even making uh, the littlest things that they say. Esau is, is oh, you got to, we got to get rid of him. We don't want him to uh, tell, wake, 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 um, so-called Jake up. Because they know Jake is waking up. So let's go ahead. Well, you know what? I'm not going to play it. I'm not going to, well, I could play a little bit of it. And then we're going to go uh, to the scriptures yesterday and that's because of his most rec recent episode of his youtube show canon's class and they are saying that he is anti-semitic and that he has bizarre racial theories he was talking and they keep saying anti-semitic we it's shem all right and we are shemitic we're the hebrew israelites now the so-called white man um esau he is semitic but he's he's 
his lineage goes to Abraham, Isaac, and Esau. We are Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, you know. Jacob, it's, it's the same story, uh, you know, in the reincarnation. Cain and Abel, you know. They the children of Cain because Cain killed Abel. And Jacob, when he came back, uh, when Abel came back as Esau, I mean, when Cain came back as Esau, he wanted to do Jake, Jacob in again, you know. But the Lord ain't set it up like that. And he's still angry about the birthright. With Professor Griff, former public enemy figure who also was kicked out of public enemy for making similar claims in an interview then, here is what Nick Cannon had to say about black people being the true Hebrews. When we talk, See? when we go as deep as the raw... Hey, this truth is out there. Through the spirit, uh, my uh, fellow Akim, he, uh, you know, when the, we... The, uh, made a, a post, right, a chat. He said, hey, Akim, the um, the average Jake should know that we're the Hebrew Israelites already, you know? The average Jake, if you ain't, the average Jake got a phone. If you ain't, if you ain't hiding under a rock somewhere, then, then you should know that we, we're Hebrew Israelites. And I noticed, like, I sent the post to the brothers, these uh, Black Lives Matter uh, people, what they doing is they taking our talking points and and make and and and, and uh and twisted it and making it in, in their own way and um to fill their own agenda but that's what they are doing now so it's a lot of confusion out there you know esau esau wants that confusion because the more confusion the more jake it, it'll be a, um, a, a stumbling block you know uh, centralized banking, the bloodlines that control everything, even outside of America. When right. we talk about the people who, if we were truly the children of Israel, and we're defining who the Jewish people are, because I feel like if we actually can understand that construct, then we can see that there is no hate involved. When we talk about right. the right. lies, the deceit, how the fake dollar controls all of And I'm going to say this, Nick Cannon listens to GMS because we basically the only, um, mainly the Israelite camp. I'm not saying that the other Israelites can't um, bring it out, but we the mainly one main ones that bring out how the elites uh, run run things as like far as the Rothschilds and the Oppenheimers and and uh, you know the the, the Duponts and all uh, all those uh, twelve uh, uh, thirteen Illuminati bloodline fi families. We are the main ones that bring that out. As well as the chip, because that's a major prophecy. The RFID microchip, that's a major prophecy, you know. Then maybe we can get to the reason why they wanted to silence you, why they want to silence mm -hmm. Minister Farrakhan, and they want to throw that. We are having hate speech when it's never hate. And Farrakhan is just an a, a, a agent. That's all Farrakhan is, you know. But we had the truth, you know, the Hebrew Israelites, particularly GMS, Great Millstone. Speech when it's not right, you can't be anti Semitic when we are the Semitic people, when we are the same people that that's right. Let's get these scriptures because they uh they fired Nick Cannon from his wild and out job. Um, but that's what that's what Esau did. So, you know, you you, you know, they when somebody uh when you uh speak and somebody tries to silence you, well. It's a reason why they want to silence you because they don't want you, that truth to come out, you know. So that's make a Esau. It's too you you you. It's too late, man. The truth is out. This is First Peter chapter five verses eight. It reads: Be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary, the devil, as a roaring lion, walk about seeking whom he may devour. Viral. So Esau going around punishing people, you know, uh, Jake saying certain things like, oh, yeah, we're the Hebrew Israelites, you know, it, it, um, he's going, hey, you fired. You can't do, you, you know, Jake is losing his career, you know, uh, the devil, you could, you could uh, look at it as uh, how the devil moving around like a roaring line, putting these different philosophies in Jake head, you know. Even Farrakhan is a distraction, you know. But I'm gonna say the scriptures say this. Um, the scriptures say this: you can't do nothing against the truth, but for the truth. 
you know. So the Heavenly Father set certain things up for Jake to, you know, catch on, you know. So Farrakhan playing his role. Everybody got a role in this, you know. Um, and and let's go to Deuteronomy. Deuteronomy is a 28th chapter because when I saw this video, I said, look at this. This is this is also a part of the curses because uh, by Nick Cannon, Nick Cannon is a, a Jake. Nick Cannon is an Israelite, but look, he lost his income. So it says that in the scriptures, how Esau, uh, you're, you're the head and um, Esau was going to be the head and you're going to be the tail. So ain't nothing you could do uh, to, because um, you don't have no power in this society. They could fire you, take all your money like that, you know. But Esau, you got it then because in the kingdom, you, you, you gonna, you're going to catch hell, you know, for what you did to us on this side. And the Heavenly Father is all about payback. Um, what scripture is that? Okay, this is, uh, I want, um, Deuteronomy, this is Deuteronomy 28 and I could use this as well. And thou shalt group at noonday. And uh, as the blind grope within the dark, and thou shalt not prosper in thy ways, and thou shalt be only oppressed and spoiled even more, and no man shall save you. So they spoiled Nick when they fired him. They spoiled, hey, I lost jobs before, you know. We were hurt when because we, we ain't had no income. Um, I, I'm looking, I'm, I want, here it is. This is a. Thir uh, verse 33 the fruit of thy land and all thy labor show a nation which thou knowest not eat up and thou shall be only oppressed and cr crushed away okay that that's it too um 38 thou shall carry much seed out into the field and shall gather but little in, for the locust shall consume it. Yeah. Um, verse 39. Thou shalt plant vineyards and dress them, but uh, shall neither drink of the wine nor gather the grapes, for the worms shall eat it. That represents us, you know, working hard but not getting, you know, Esau have you working ha hard as hell on long hours, but only want to give you nine, ten dollars an hour. So who can live off of that? You know, the average Jake. Is making that to where as though how you expect to make that little bit but afford um the average rent or the average mortgage is like twelve hundred and well where I'm at in, in Maryland, Baltimore, the average rent is what, fourteen hundred dollars a month. You know, from I'm gonna say from twelve hundred or to a thousand dollars to like fourteen, fifteen hundred dollars a month, you know? So this that's that's that ain't that ain't right. You know, and then, you know, you got these scudder buckets out here that that that's all they're looking for is uh, a Negro with with money so they could just use use you, you know. So if you, they don't want to give you no play, which is, you know, that's a woman. So but they don't want to give you a, if you a play, no play. If you ain't got a house, a car, this, that and the third, you know, because Eve out there, she she's, you know, scandalous. But an Edomite. Eden might be out there. He ain't, he ain't got nothing. But this is his kingdom, you know. Uh, Eden might could be a bum. And and Eve Eve uh, uh, just messed with him because he got that, that so-called white skin. Um. Okay. The stranger, verse 43, the stranger that is with, within thee shall get up above thee very high. So that represents the other nations coming over here. They might set up a business or a store and they might make like a they might make like they might clock like a million dollars within the first year. But let you set up a store in the hood. Hey, you might lose. You, you, you'll go out of business. Your business went out of business. The first year or two, you are you out of business. And I witnessed that, you know, uh, uh, where I used to uh, hang at, you know, this this guy here at this store, black dude went out of business. Within a couple of years, and then the uh, Chinese and uh, Edomites, they had been this floss. The way as though they was able to get 
moved to Big and Better, Big and Better store. It said, he shall lend to thee and thou shall not lend to him. Right. We always, what Jake always need? Loans. We always need jobs. We got to go to these jobs and beg the white man for a job. We got to wear a suit. And that's all it is. That's all it is. It's begging. That's what it is. It's begging. It's when, or selling yourself. We got to go on these interviews. That's what an interview is. We got to go on these uh, interviews and sell ourselves to the white man so he can hire us. So we can make money to bring in to make a living. You know, we ba we basically begging, begging for a job. You know, we got some 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 Jake got to got to change their tone of voice and, and talk proper and so-called proper and talk. Put on a valley accent like they part white, part Negro, you know. Yeah. But yeah, that that, that, that was the curses, Nick. Because these, uh, they, they own everything, you know? It's, the scriptures say it, you know? It says, therefore, thou shalt serve thine enemies, which the Lord shall send against thee in hunger. Here we, this for you Negroes that are always talking about, oh, we can, we can, we can do it ourselves. We can, we can come up. It's all, we can start a business up and all that. Well, guess what? Look at this scripture. Which you can, ain't nothing wrong with starting a business and all that, but you're only going to get to a certain, uh, spot you're not going to get over the white man because this is his kingdom it says therefore thou shalt serve thine enemies which the lord shall send against thee in hunger that's food and thirst and in nakedness so food clothing and shelter it says in in want of all things and he shall put a yoke of iron on, upon thy neck until you have been destroyed so we was destroyed as a people you know and we're the only race uh people that had yokes of iron on our neck you know, but yeah, that's, uh, that's, that's the curses, you know, that's, that's the curses with, uh, the Lord, that's, that's, that's why the Lord had, that's why Nick Cannon, he had to go to Esau for the job, you know, um, let's get revelations, I want to bring this out, because these, uh, these damn um, Amalekites, they run everything. They own everything. So how could they be the real Jew? And these, the people that who fighting it. Revelations 2 and 9. I know thy works in tribulation and poverty, but thou art rich. So the Lord said he know the tribulation. He know what we're going through. You know, he know we're going through hell. He know that our women are against us. He know we're in hell. He said, but guess what? The Lord said, you rich. Because the Lord, we are the chosen people. You know, even though we're getting punished right now and beat down, we are the chosen people. So that makes us rich because we got um, we got a blessing coming towards us. You know, we got a blessing to look forward to. You know, we got an inheritance coming through through our forefather Jacob. It says, and I know the blasphemy, blasphemy of, of them that say they are Jews and are not. So that's those people that run everything. Hollywood, the people that fired Nick Cannon, they own everything. They call themselves what? Jews. Don't they say, oh, they Jewish? But, the, but check this. The Lord said, and are not, but are the synagogue of Satan. The, the heavenly father, Yahweh and uh, his son, called them the synagogue of Satan. You know, the people that fired him. Let's get this one last verse to close it out. We're going to go to Job. And we're going to go to 9. 9 and 24, one of my favorite scriptures. And listen up, y'all. Yeah. And this who runs everything. Because you just we just read the scripture that the, uh, the Heavenly Father and the Son called them the synagogue of Satan, right? So what is Satan? Okay, let's read Job 9 and 24. The earth is given into the hands of the wicked. The wicked is who? The children of Satan. He covereth the faces of the judges thereof. Who was the original judges? We are. We the children of Israel. You know? If not, we're in who is he? So if they ain't, if they, if, if they ain't the devil, then, then who is? You know? Um, what you call it? Um, 
it's a saying, um, ah, it, it's at the tip of my tongue, um, it's a saying that, uh, uh, if they not, then who is he, you know? So it round off, you round off to look at like, oh, ain't nobody less. And so it got to be that. In other words, you know, it got to be that. If not, then where and who is he? Elimination. Yeah, that, that's what it is. Um, process of elimination. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> yeah. But I hope this is edifying. Till again, shalom.